Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new gameplay objective Tiago Mensch card to review today. We're taking a look at a card who is 5 foot 10, medium high work rates, right footed, 3 star skills, 3 star weak foot. So the main capabilities of this card is to be as good as possible defensively, but from what I'm seeing from base card stats, uh, he does have 88 dribbling, so he could be a very agile type of player playing through the midfield position. Uh, In-game player traits, he has the outside foot shot trait. Okay, so the outside foot shot trait's kind of helpful, a little bit, but if that's more if he gets into a shooting opportunity because of 72 finishing. Uh, but with this card, guys, I would say that the main hopes is definitely going to be improving pace, defending, and physical as much as possible, considering the fact that he is a showdown card. He is going to currently be working with 90 acceleration with a 96 sprint speed. That area of the card would definitely be very nice to be improved for the meta of the game, but he does have a medium high work rate, so he's probably going to be more defensive than anything. Uh, base card stats for shooting on the card is going to be pretty decent at a 93 for shot power, but the finishing is pretty low, so I don't see myself taking too many shots with him. More like random, if anything. Uh, base card stats for passing, very good on this card. He is a three-star, three-star player. So uh, again, the main focus here is to defend as good as possible. With dribbling, he's in the mid-80s, high-80s area. Let's see what his body type is. Tiago Mensch, let's see. Tiago Mensch has a average body type. Okay, that's good. Yeah, five foot ten with an average body type. Base card stats for physical on the card is going to be at an 87 for aggression, 83 for strength, and then really good defensive capabilities. Yes, he does have 89 defensive awareness, but he does have the medium high work rates, which is really, really good. Yeah, definitely a card that needs to be improved for sure. 100% uh, for the showdown aspect of it, but we'll see, man. We'll see what kind of upgrades he gets. But for now, we are going to be using him in the 3-4-1-2 tactics. I might actually give the um, 4 3 2 1 a go and play him as the center center mid. Because this team is actually perfectly fine like this. Zidane's in the team, eh? We can use him as a cam, why not? Salah, Ginola. Oh, yeah, we could do that. That works. Nuno Mens. Nuno Mens and Tiago Mens. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Instructions is going to be stay back while attacking, stay on the edge of the box for the cross, and uh, we'll see how he plays in the midfield position. I might try him on that 4-3-2-1 as well. Let's see. I have another tactic that I might try out. It's a 4-5-1 uh, tactic that my boy Snip sent me. Uh, we're going to be trying him out in the middle position of this too. I might switch this at some point because you guys know me. I like to always use different stuff as much as possible. Cool team. Very cool team. Let's try this 4-5-1, man. I want to I wanna give it a go. It could be sick, to be fair. So his trackback is good. Doesn't do anything on the initial interception. Like, doesn't raise his foot or anything like there. Not positioned to get that initial pass. Tries to go for the challenge there. Nothing... Tracking was pretty decent there. Do expect that for the midfielders at the very least. Switch to the bottom here. There we go. Nice pass. That was a good build up play. That was good. We'll take that. Good stuff, good stuff. Tiago Mendes involving himself in the play. Ooh, the transition speed's nice. Just holding all trigger there, too. The initial acceleration that he has currently isn't actually that bad. Like, you definitely notice that you want more, but the dribbling and body type is doing wonders for it, for sure. I 
Oh, he did well there, just didn't get the ball fully. Well done. No! Oh, he, he kind of like glitched there, right? That was a little weird. <laughs> Uh, he always does that, like, unnecessary emphasis on the ball. It's kind of weird. Oh, on a white. <laughs> on a white. Oh, that one goes straight through his legs, eh? Track back is good, though, on the medium high. We'll take that. We'll take that. Ooh, okay. We'll take that. We'll take that. Good stuff there. Gotta go for the shot cancels in this game. The registration is uh, pretty bad there. Can I chip it at least? Okay, we'll take that at least. No! Getting close though. Thank you, Tiago. I see you, bro. I see you. It was inside the 18 yard box there. That's solid. The uh, touch there was weird, but I don't really blame him for that. It's like next-gen dribbling sometimes. Tracking was there again. His medium-high work rate is good, guys. So if you want to use him as like a lone center defensive mid for that, that's going to be fine. Good uh, tackle there. Well done with the weak foot, too. Oh, nice slide challenge. Take that interception there. Will he play it in? Mateus. Zidane. Ginola. And a goal. Good goal. Good goal. We'll take that. Have to play against the park the bus stuff like this. A little bit of extra passes here and there, you know. Please, Thiago. He does okay there. Yeah, like two interceptions there. Three now. On a green! Ah, oh, it wasn't a good shot, though. It was not a good shot. Nice, Thiago. Well done! Good play, good play. We'll take that. Interception again. Oh, bad pass by me, though. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Tiago Mensch card. So in regards to how he performs in game, guys, to be honest with you, he does the things that he's supposed to do well enough. But just like every other showdown card, the upgrades would definitely be very, very nice for this card. I actually like him as a gameplay objective showdown card because if he actually ends up getting the upgrade, this is a really cool card to have to play in that CDM position as one of your two midfielders as the more defensive oriented card. So obviously with his shooting being at a 72 for finishing, if you do get into a position to score your opportunities and obviously the 93 shot power is great to work with, but the 72 finishing not so much, right? So the main focus for this card is for him to be as good as possible defensively in your team. His acceleration actually doesn't come off that bad as of right now, which is good because of the fact that he's working with a really good five foot ten height 
average body type with really good dribbling stats as a midfielder, right? So I can tell you this right now that if he gets the upgrade in that pace department, this card will be really cool to work with because on the shadow chemistry style, guys, right? If they give him a plus three, plus four in acceleration and sprint speed, that area for the card for a player who is medium high work rated is fantastic. They'll boost base card stats for shooting, base card stats for passing. Passing is great to work with for this card as well. The dribbling with that body type is fantastic. The defensive side of the card, you could definitely feel like you want an improvement on it as well in regards to certain areas of it, but it's like very minimal because honestly, defensively, he does a great job. He's really good um, at intercepting the ball, right? When I lose possession of the ball in the attacking area, especially for this 3 4 one, two tactic, he does a really good job of just quick interceptions, quick interceptions, which is very, very good to work with if you want to be a more aggressive uh, player in this game. And then obviously for physical capabilities with 88 stamina, it's a card that you keep on state back while attacking mostly anyway, so that's going to be perfectly fine for the card. But what I notice is that I really, really want that pace boost, and I really want that physical boost, because that physical boost for the card, right, while working with really good defensive stats, is going to be the main thing here. Obviously, because he plays for Leon, gives you those Brazilian links, there's so many things to work with when it comes to those League One teams as well, which is something that I feel like a lot of people are going to want to have. Like I said, I don't think he's like a crazy full meta card. Like full meta cards are players are like Lucas Paqueta, right? Like crazy, crazy cards. But for what he plays like in game on the medium high, for a player that could potentially get upgraded, you genuinely can't go wrong with this card as a gameplay objective who's super easy to get because most people uh, that actually end up doing the gameplay objective they do golden goal anyway so not necessarily a bad thing uh, when it comes to links on the card obviously lucas paqueta is one of the biggest ones to work with because lucas paqueta is left footed on the left side right so if you take a look at this card here right left foot on the left side you can go with tiago on the right side um with the strong links there's obviously a bunch of brazilian guys you can work with two players like neymar and the league one links I don't really need to go through the League One links because you guys know that they have a bunch of players over there. But yeah, generally speaking, as a gameplay objective, you can't go wrong with him. But with an upgrade, it would definitely be very, very nice to work in that CDM position to be a more defensive oriented card for sure. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.